Hello! Welcome back. This is Kenshin1913 and we are Let's Playing Xenogears. In the last episode, we went to Toro's house and we explored the capital of Kizev. And as you can see, it's totally effed up. Only place here is the Battling Arena. So let us continue exploring. Alright, triangle makes you move. Yeah, so you can't go in Fort Jasper. You can't go in the Tower of Babel. Lots of places you can't go. Alright. So, if we come over here, I think this is the Snow Island where the Zohar is. And this is where Graf... Graf, uh... Drop down look. This is, oh, okay, so this is Animal Relic 2. This is the place you can go to get a bunch of, um, what's it called? You can get fangs and horns and eyeballs and tusks and whatever else you need to, uh, I don't know, whatever else you need for, let's say, selling wines. I'll eventually do that. I'm going to be purchasing some really expensive stuff pretty soon. So if we can continue to look around. I forget where Dune Man's Isle is, but I'll look that up. Yep, Ethos Headquarters destroyed. Where's where I want to go? Yeah, you can't go to the Tower of Babel. They really kind of limited you on the second disc of where you could go. Where the hell is the, uh... There's the orphanage. That's... Kaput. Hmm. I know it's around here somewhere. Ah, there we are. The Lighthouse. Let's go there. Now, in order to do this, well, you don't need Emerelda, but it's super important that you bring her. Because something's going to happen. So it would be nice if you had her. So now let's go into the lighthouse. Head on down. Head on down to the other side. And look at this. There's a hidden city underneath here. Yes, this is basically the city that we saw from Emerelda's ruins. This, the Zimboam um, ruins. And let's explore. Um, now, excuse me. You can go into some of the buildings. And there are enemies down here. And these are Shell Bell F1, whatever the hell that is. Wow, they got a lot of HP. Take them down, baby. Oh, that's a dick move. Alright, yeah, that's a dick move. With Choo Choo, let us heal up. I wonder, Ether Doubler would probably be very good for Choo Choo. Oh wow, that's crap. There we go, we win. And Choo Choo learns Ancient Myth, which I think is our only attack spell. Let's look. But yeah, you know what I'm doing? Ability, uh, no, ear. Abilities, guess who's... Oh, what the hell, you can't use, use her spell? And heal up these, oh, that's bull poopy. Oh no, gear options, that's what I want. Oh, you can't even use gear options, it's horse crap. So let's fix frame. And Emerald doesn't even have one of those, what the hell? She's on a frame fixer 30. Oh, I totally need to get her one. I am, I am effing up in the A today. 
All right, just equip to the 50 for now. All right. So let's go. It looks like we can get out of our gears and get in, get in on foot. Yeah, so we get off. We come on in here. And there's various buildings around that we can look into. This looks like it used to be a supermarket. But nothing is here. Kind of reminds me of that movie, I Am Legend. How it was like one man uh, by himself. And he like... It's like a world full of like zombie vampire things. And down here kind of reminds me of that. It has that same vibe. Because like the whole civilization's wiped out and there's like... It's crazy. Let's go back outside. Get in our gears and head over up the street here. It looks like, yes, I get it, Faye. We can get out of our gears. Go in here. And this is a TV station. Very interesting. I wonder what the hell they were broadcasting here. Ooh, treasure. Survival tent, which obviously they didn't use. This is, must be where they did sports, huh? As you can see, the bar graph here. Where's the weather? The weather, I guess. You can save your game over here if you need to. I don't think that door opens, but we can go upstairs. And here we have, I guess, the control room. And there's nothing up here. What the hell? I think if we manipulate one of these panels, we can check something out. Here we go. Here we go. Now we can learn a little bit more about the Zimbohem region. What's this movie? Yeah, and as you can see, these people were sort of civilized, like our culture, but they died out 4,000 years ago. And look, there's some dude, but that woman over there looks looks like Min Yang. So Min Yang was back there, even even in the past there. But reincarnated as another woman. She was she wasn't the same woman. She resided at the side of the Prime Minister, manipulating the world behind the scenes. And here's years, okay. Resurrect Jews. And then they had armies. Many people then couldn't have children. They were defective humans. So she did it over again. Did what over? Yeah, at, th at this time, a lot of people couldn't have children. Which also reminds me of another movie. I forget what one it is. A new being was born to foster the next generation. And yep, missiles were super important to these people. We are descendants of a few strong people who survived. Yeah, see, so she kind of like wiped out this whole race of people. A slipping economy, rising crime, urban blight. A nation of fanatics looking for their own living space. Believing in religious sect leaders and gathering around totalitarian leaders. People cut off from the next generation thanks to genetic damage would have died out if left to their own devices. So Ellie and I took the hopes of the people and created Emerelda. Interesting. So that was the one thing that was going to hopefully help the world in the Zimboheim era. No, nope, we can't go out that door. Alright, let's leave. You can save the game if you need to. This dungeon's not too hard or long, actually. Alright, we're back. I had to take a quick break. Because of, uh, something. But anyways, I ended up dying, so I had to redo it. And, uh, yeah. I gave Emerelda the power, uh, the gear frame fix thingy majiggy. I gave Faye the hero's costume. Traitor card. 
and the speed shoes. I gave Choo Choo the executioner's gown, Vivid Turban, and Choo Choo thingy, goddess robe, uh, speed ring, ether stone. Actually, let's get rid of speed ring. And let's give her... Where the hell is it? Ether doubler. Alright, did I get this? Yep. Alright, did the Min Yang thing. Now let me show you something real quick. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um, there's our gears. If we come up over here, we can get into a battle with some Toad Men guys. And let's use some ether. And fire should burn, baby. With the ether doubler? That should hurt. She does have the ether doubler on, right? Whoa. 700 damage. Very nice. And there's Choo Choo in, in little person form. You know, I never show Choo Choo in little person form. But we can come over here and get the Godfather thing. And look. We've gone through there. Alright, let's keep running. I want to go back somewhere really quick. Where the hell is the uh, store? Oh, we got more new enemies. These guys... I don't know what the hell they're weak to, so let's use this. An Emeralda plus uh, Ether Doubler equals me up. This is a pretty long ether attack. Better kill them. No. Let's show off Big Bang now. This is phase ability, Big Bang. And here's the Earth, okay. What the hell? What the hell? You're blowing up the earth! No! Time out, Faye! Faye, time out. Those are not hero abilities. The hero does not blow up the earth. And we get four fangs. Very awesome. Um, where the friggity is the store? I want to show you something in the store over here. Where the hell is it? Oh, okay. We're going the wrong way, but let's get this. Death Blower 2, yay. You know what? Gear it up. Let's go. That's the TV studio, and there's the store. Oh, we got ourselves a new enemy, Dragon. And as you can see, uh, Faye with the speed boost boots on even does it in gear mode. Speeds up the gear, which is very awesome. You know what? You can't even. You can't even. You're, you're pathetic. Well, you're not pathetic, but you're not too hot right now. You barely hurt the dragon. And let's use Ryu. Ryu ten. There you go. Headbutt it. That's how I deal with all my troubles too. I headbutt it. And Faye's going again, huh? And there we go, there's the dragon. Now sometimes this guy will drop speed shoes. Well, I don't know if it's here or if it's in Doonman's Island if they drop speed shoes. I'm not exactly sure. Alright, let's come in here. Yeah, there's something I didn't show you before. And basically you come over here, you can read... You can read these magazines, and this is about slave generators, and basically how they, how hyper mode. Now, I'm not gonna read them all out loud. If you wanna read all this stuff, um, just pause the video. Uh, and basically, it kinda teaches you the equation in the learning hyper mode, I guess. Now everything is bloody, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, basically, how hyper mode works is you start at level, you start at 5%, the 
less HP you have, the easier it is to get into hyper mode. The more you get attacked, the easier it is to get into hyper mode as well. And now if we come over here. We go up here. And we have ourselves some more magazines. Now the one over here is interesting. And this is about Big Joe. Or Joe Balboa. And he used to be a wrestling champ. And a basketball player. And a tennis player. And a baseball player. And he wrote a book. But the awards ceremony slipped to shake hands. Hit his head. Went home with brain damage. Now he thinks he's Elvis. No! Say it ain't so, Big Joe. Say it ain't so. And then this one is about the Eldridge and the ship that fell down, I guess. I, it's a lot. It's an uh, absolute object. Heisenberg. Proposition of the Matrix. S Matrix? There's something. I don't know what the hell this is. This is mumbo jumbo. Uh, although I see phenomenon at least three times in that thing. So yeah, okay. So you know what? I'm gonna stop the episode here, and then in the next episode we'll continue to explore the Zimboheim or Zimboam re uh, ruins and maybe find something neato. So yeah, this has been Kenshin 1913. I'll see you later. Bye bye.